Hey guys, this is John, and welcome to the free video. It is uh, 2 o'clock right now, and we're betting on a rally here into the close. I'm going to buy uh, three NASDAQ futures here. Uh, what we got here is we got a squeeze. I'm a little late to this party, but the fact that we're making new highs on the day, and you can see here it ticks at 1,000. In this type of a situation, what I'm looking for is that we can actually go up here to 41.27, okay? Obviously, I've already had some good trades today. This has been trading three contracts. It's been a fantastic day for trading futures. The question now, as we head into the last hour, are bulls gonna be able to keep up the pressure, okay? Well, what we wanna do is, of course, we're gonna, you know, we wanna know how much we're willing to risk on this trade. Generally, on something like this, I'm thinking about 15 ticks, okay? I don't want, I mean, points, I don't wanna risk a lot. But I'm keeping an eye on the ticks. As long as the ticks are above zero, I have no concerns. Uh, just because we're showing that, you know, we'll get that, just that nice kind of buying power, uh, that nice pressure in the markets here. And so the question that comes up is, you know, if you stare, if you're staring over here and you're like going, wow, I was up hundred dollars and now I'm down hundred dollars, that can freak people out. So keep your focus over here on the internals. Now it's normal to get a pullback here. We're gonna get some back and forth, but what I'm looking at here is, you know, who is more nervous in this market? Now, right now, if you're looking at this, you're like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm down $400. The ticks are not doing anything, okay? This is normal movement. So this is a good, uh, also kind of a lesson in position sizing, you know, how much heat are you willing to take? At this point, there's no danger here, okay? So if, if you got a situation where there's no danger, but you throw on a 20 lot trade and you're freaking out, that is where position sizing comes into play, okay? And that is where you gotta be careful. As of right now, I'm like, all right, I'm watching this, the ticks are fine, could we get short covering back up to the tree line, okay, at 41.27? and am I in any danger, okay? I would consider myself in danger if we come down here to the minus 800 tick level, okay? So at this point, things are kind of slow, so I'll, I'll kind of pause it and then we'll check back in to see where we are. Okay, so, so here we are, we paused it a little bit. Now you can see that the NASDAQ futures here are making new highs. The ticks, they, you know, they've just been hanging out here. It's very bullish. And right now this 41.27, kind of becomes a target, right? So what we can do here is um, I unchecked auto center, so I can just kind of scroll up here and then just come up here to 4127, right? Now I don't know if we're gonna go all the way up there. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna manage it. But at that point, you know, I would wanna at least sell two of my three contracts, okay? Two of my three contracts. Now, 41.27.13, we don't need to be greedy little pigs. Let's go 41.26, get a little bit in front of it, okay? So now I've got my pre-planned order there, and then if for some reason we blow through it, we've got one contract to trail, okay? So now the question is, is what about a stop loss? Well, our entry here is 41.03. When you take out the swing high, then you should move your stop loss from 10 or 15 points to entry plus a point. Now we're guaranteed a profit, okay? Boom. So that's the fun part of doing this. And now we just kind of see like, okay, the, the tricky thing with trading futures is that everything's moving so fast. You know, it's like, oh my God, I've got $600 and I want to take it and it's going to be pretty addicting. But just kind of, you know, we, we're going to, we got a plan here. We can stick to our targets. You know, is it okay to take some off the table here? Yes, but you know, just let the ticks be your guide. As long as we're hanging out here, then we've got some good pressure. Now the NASDAQ's only down 34 points today. Remember earlier today, it was down like 150 points. So the, now the shorts are screaming like, oh my God, have, you know, have mercy on us. So, so this is good. I mean, this is good for the futures, right? So we'll keep an eye on this trade and let's see how it ends up. Uh, but right now you can see the ticks have come down. They're sitting at you know, plus 500 on this pullback. Well, that's nothing to be nervous about, right? That's, um, that's, that's just fantastic. And the, the danger is, because the market's so volatile, is that we may come down and get stopped out when we don't wanna get stopped out. And that's something that we can, there's different ways to look at that too and different ways to modify it. At this point, if we can make new highs here, then I'm gonna trail up my stop a little bit more, okay, or I can break it up. Okay, so new highs, right? So, so how can we do this? How can we just make sure that we just don't get stopped out of this? Well, let's cancel our stop and now we, let's stagger it. So I wanna lock, you know, let's lock in, now that we've got new highs here, let's lock in uh, da, 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 two points 
okay, on that one. And then I'm gonna put one down here to give it some room in case we do come down, right? And then we're gonna lock in like say three points, or, yeah, three and a quarter points here. So now, you know, if we come down and whoosh and I get stopped out, I still have the chance to kind of hang on to this for an ultimately a bigger target, right? And then I still have my order up here to try to get out at the 4127 level, which is up here, okay? Now, having said all this, is it okay just to take some off the table? It is, we just wanna be careful about that. Because if we start just wanting to take some off the table without a plan, we're not gonna instill good habits. It's just, we're gonna encourage ourselves to be subjective, which we don't want to, okay? So right now, we've locked in some profit and, and all, all is well there, okay? Hey, Roy, so, so let's see where so let's see where this is going to end up. Um, at this point, so we got to also check some of the key stocks uh, right now. Wow, Google seven hundred and seventeen dollars. Okay, that thing is on fire. So some of the other trades we're doing here right now. That the the other benefit is that when you're trading futures, it get, it keeps you front and center on the internals and what those internals are doing, right? And so that also helps you stay on the forefront of what's going on in some of the key stocks. So by being able to closely watch the futures, it also gave us an opportunity when we saw to get into Google earlier. So we got Google here at $26, some in the money calls. We also sold some put spreads here. And you can see on these 10 contracts, it's up about $12,000, all right? So, so all in all, again, even if you don't trade futures, um, which I, I think it's actually, you know, trading futures is a good thing, but even if you don't trade them, is if you learn how they work, it will help you with all your other trades too, because it helps you catch reversals and things like that, right? So let's see now, now we're, we're saying that we're starting to see this kind of melt up. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can come up here. Where's my, okay, so 41.26. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, to be perfectly honest. When you get close to your target, but you're not quite there. I'll be honest, I, don't want, I would not be too pleased if this came all the way down now and stopped me out. But at the same time, you know, I don't wanna, I wanna, I'm on a good horse here, I wanna ride that horse. So what can you do? Well, that's where the saying, you know, sell down to the sleeping point comes. So what I do on something like this is I just sit there and I watch the ticks. As long as, as long as the tick is, is staying high like this, great, not much to worry about, but if it starts coming off pretty hard, then I could take one off the table, right? The other thing you can do here on something like this, is remember we've got our one lots here, is let's just come in and say, all right, you know what, let's just put one here at 41.15.25. That way, if it does swoosh down here, at least we're taking a little bit off the table here, all right? So boom, great, we just booked some profits. Now I do have to come down. Now you can do this so it does it automatically, right? So I, but I'm doing it manually, which is fine. So now I'm gonna cancel that one, okay? So I've got my balanced orders. I've got two stops in place. And then if we come up here, I've got my two targets in place, right? So now what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna trail my stops a little bit. So there's a couple different ways to do that. Depending on your platform, I can just grab this and move it up. All right, so that's an easy way to do it. And now again, I just locked in some profit. I don't need to be as nervous about it, okay? And, and there we go. But anyway, I, I just think that it's, what's nice about the futures is it just gives you kind of an overall kind of an idea, gives you a feel of you know how the markets are working and, and different things like that. Now, if you wanna do the same thing and say, well, I'm watching the ticks over here and they seem like they're losing their luster a little bit. You know, Do you wanna place some sell orders here? That's fine. But I encourage you that when you see that there's some momentum going like that, just kind of be patient. You can always control your risk, right? Hey, if it comes down and stops me out instead of hitting my target, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's neither, okay? You're having a, you have a plan and you're following it. And you know, you're booking profit and you're making bank, so. Anyway, that's, that's the process there um, with that. And hopefully that, that helps. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, at this point, you, know, you can see that the NASDAQ here is down um, 30 points. And I think we, the, the, way, the way it's acting, we could actually go positive on the day. Um, the question is, is just how, you know, how, far, how far down do we come? Now, if I get stopped out, it's not the end of the world because I can get right back in. And that's the thing to remember about futures is you cannot sit there and cry about, oh my God, my self image, I've got to redo it because I got stopped out here. No, you just get right back in, okay? The name of the game is risk control. And if you do this carefully, 
you know, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna have big losses when you're scalping. Like I, I, I consider the scalping to me a scalp is, you know, you're trying to make ten or twenty points in the Nasdaq like this. But you're managing the trade in such a way um, that you are uh, prolonging the potential of big reward, right? While at the same time continually decreasing your risk, and it's very simple to do. So that's what's going on there. So the futures now down 28 points, a little bit of consolidation here. So let's do this. You can see we're consolidating a little bit. I want to go ahead and uh, let's see if we can get one off here at 41.15, and we'll just get down to one lot. See if we can get a little push. My one lot here is holding down the market. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now, great. So now I've almost booked $3,000 today trading a three lot. Okay in the NASDAQ, which is great. So now I've got a one and one and 41.27. Oh, I got to change that one. Let's change that one to, to one, 41.26. And now I can just kind of let it sit. All right, so anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, that's just kind of the, some of the things that we'll do in terms of you know managing these trades, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, well, I, I paused it there, but let's see if we can get our target hit. So it's push, push, look at the ticks. And this is a great time to take profits on longs. When you see like God plus 1200, like are you freaking kidding me? That's the bull boom blowing their wad. So trading a three lot today on the Nasdaq of three thousand four hundred and fifty-five dollars. It's two sixteen p.m. Central, so there's still some opportunity here. Now I may get right back in, but when you see a big voodoo line like that, that's a good time. You, that's the easy move. All right, that's the easy move. The rest of this move right now, we're gonna catch in Google, etc etc. Look at that, plus 1200 ticks. Great time to, so the tough thing like this is when you're trying to do this with a, like, you know, you're trying to buy a stock option, is those things just run away from you because they screw you on the bid ask and all you got to do on something like this is just click it. All right, so hopefully that made sense. All right, so if you saw any of the live futures trading and that stuff that's like, wow, that's interesting, uh, I obviously would very much encourage you to do the Saturday class. I think this is gonna be a game changer for the rest of the year. In addition to trading futures, right? I just wanna emphasize that even if you don't trade futures, the benefit from this is going to be learning how to read internals live during the live trading class, okay? That's something that's worth its weight in gold and I have not taught that or done that in years. The Saturday class, which will be the basic class to get you up to speed on futures. Now, by the way, if you're a beginner, it's totally appropriate. It's geared towards that. But if you're intermediate to advanced, this is not going to be, um, you know, elementary. It's going to be like, look, we're going to get you, if you're a beginner, we're going to get you up to speed as soon as possible. And then from there, we're going to dive right into how to trade these things. Okay. So we, you know, going through a complete foundation to start trading futures the next trading day with a focus on turning a small account into a big account. By the way, my 15K account that I've been trading after today is now at 24K. Okay. So we're getting this thing continues to grow. Uh, if you guys remember, my goal was to get it to 50K and then start wiring out funds. We're going to be talking about that trading plan at the Saturday class. Um, and then Tony and Neil will be talking about their setups as well. I do highly encourage people, if you're like, wow, that sounds really interesting to do this one. Uh, and you're thinking, you're thinking like, oh, of course, John, you want us to do the expensive option. I'm just saying that with three days of live trading, this is something that you're going to learn skills to be able to make that back very quickly. Okay. And then if you're at a point in your life where it's like, all right, I want to dive in and I want to get this done. We have a few spots left for our live event here in Austin, January 31st through February 2nd. We have a couple of special guests here. We're gonna have Mark Douglas's wife, who's carrying on his work, is gonna be doing a talk. Sean Stevenson, he's a guy that I saw share a stage with Tony Robbins and he blew him out of the water. He's gonna be, he's amazing. But we're also, the whole idea with this is there's gonna be emphasis on live trading and mentoring. So if you're having problems when you're in a trade, you know, that you're gonna be encouraged to take trades and raise your hand if you have a problem. I can come walk over and like talk you through it. Um, we're gonna have a poker tournament. We're gonna be able to spend time one-on-one -on -one and as a group and really focus and knock this stuff out of the park, okay? And of course, if you get this, that includes all of this, right? And of course, this includes Saturday. I hope that made sense. I think this is something that, again, you go to simplerfutures.com forward slash A to Z. This is gonna be, I, I think, if, you, if you've if you not really have done any of this thing, anything like this before, uh, the first step in 
the most powerful trading that are learning and trading I think that you'll have experienced up to this date and it'll be it'll be able to carry you through the rest of the year okay and also when you see me doing this in the room you're gonna understand it and be able to do it and then if you're not in the room you'll be able to do it on your own okay all right hope it helps you guys have a great night and we'll see you at the next update